Hi everyone, it's Joy Nelson from the Denver, Colorado area. And um, I'm going live just straight on my table because I have yet to figure out the whole um, face one on how I can do it with low technology. So let me check to see if uh, I am actually live in the group. I got my computer here by my side. So this is the bundle that I will be using, the Snowman Magic Bundle. And it has um, all these great stamps. It's got greetings. Um, you can build your own snowman. And then it has all these wonderful dies. So let's see if I can get this figured out here, if I'm actually live or not. And my computer is doing some thinking, but it has all these wonderful little pieces. It has this um, great snowflake frame and then all these wonderful pieces. So I'm going to check this out here and see. Oh, it does look like I'm actually live. So that's good. Um, I see one person watching. Let's see. I can make this bigger, expand this a little bit so I can see your comments maybe. So, okay, it looks like Emily is watching and Elizabeth is watching. I'm assuming that uh, the sound is all okay. Let me... Okay, it looks like we got a little feedback. We'll take that away. So can you still hear me? Give me a little thumbs up or something to indicate that you can still um, hear me. Oh, good. Elizabeth said everything is perfect. So we're using this bundle. It is in this mini catalog. This is the July to December one. So be sure you order it by the end of December um, because we're not sure it's coming back. It most likely will not. So it you can see the bundle. Um, and the bundle price back here, but you can also see some more samples. Let's see if I can find the right page. Yes, right here. And then we have these cute little um, orchid and um, pretty green and pool party, kind of a, a, a you can make a like a snow sand snowman. So this is just a really very cute um, seasonal set. Now I'm gonna bring in what I'm making. I am doing a, um, a faux or an easy shaker card. So you've got these little elements that you can shake around in here. The elements are the sparkle and shine sequins assortment. So those are very fun and sparkly and those go inside for our shaker. And so we've got that up here. Let me weight it down a little bit because it's trying to pop open. <clears throat> and then you're going to need some pieces. You're going to need um, a piece of the Snowflake Specialty Bellum. That is also in this mini catalog that I just showed you, the July to December one, the Snowflake Specialty Bellum. You have some flocked pieces, which I believe um, Gina used a flock piece earlier. And then you have the iridescent pieces. And I'm using one of the iridescent pieces. It, um, because of the size of the die, you're gonna have to match the size of the die. So it's a little bit difficult to um, make fit to your, um, a four size cardstock. But this piece is three and a quarter inches by four and five eighths inches or 8.3 centimeters by 11.3 centimeters. Again, this is the Snowflake Specialty Bellum. And this is the really pretty um, iridescent snow piece. I hope you can see all that sparkle and shine as I move the paper around. So you'll need that piece you will need a piece of shimmery white. I chose to use shimmery white because it's a little more um, weighty than regular basic white. 
and um, it has a sparkle and sheen to it that I don't think shows up on camera, but it is very pretty in person. So the shimmery white, which is for our frame piece, is three and three quarter inches by five inches or 9.5 centimeters by 12.7 centimeters. And I've gone ahead and cut one out. So it cuts out like so. You know, you have it like this and you have this piece in the middle. So this piece in the middle would certainly work to probably stamp your snowman and your other pieces on. So now we have our frame. And um, let's see, it is a little bit bigger than the actual die because we're going to need to put some foam tape, uh, no, not foam tape, the foam strips, those dimensional foam strips around the edge so that our card will shake. You're also gonna need a scrap of gold foil and a scrap of Bermuda Bay. Here's my scrap. I'm going to stamp my little snowman on and show you how to space out your stamps so that you can cut them all out with the dies at once. You also need a clear envelope to use this easy shaker technique. So you need one of the clear envelopes that Stampin' Up! sells. And then of course our card base in the Bermuda Bay which is five and a half inches by eight and a half inches. And then you score and fold it at four and a quarter inches or 21 centimeters by 14.9 centimeters, score and fold at the 10 and a half centimeters. Now I'm going to show you what it looks like. It is a little, um, you could, you could certainly, if you, if you use the full size card base in the A4, you certainly can have your edges like this. You can kind of move it over and then have an extra spot for like some snowflakes or this way and maybe a little ribbon. But you could also cut it down and make a shorter card base, which would still fit in your envelope, but then you would have an even border all the way around like my sample with the A2 um, size card base. So I just wanted to show you that. So, oh, hi, Nita from North Carolina. So let's go ahead and um, start putting things together. First off, I always start with my card base. I don't know why. It's just kind of a habit, I guess. And use a bone folder to get a good crease on that. We've got our frame. We've got that. Now I think I need to do a little bit of stamping. So let's bring in our stamps. I've pre-mounted my stamps on the blocks and my blocks are a little dirty. And I have a little smuts there from a, um, I was trying to make sure that I had the top of a stamp. And so I have some um, permanent marker there that still needs to come off. But I went ahead and I put my snowman body and the top hat on the same stamp so I could stamp those together. That is a trick, a little bit of a time-saving trick. And I needed to spread them out to make sure that I have room when I die cut this piece to, um, you know, room for the dies to fit around. So I'm going to just hold that down just a little bit. Again, this is the shimmery white that I'm using. So there we have that. And then I want to do the arms. I, I went ahead and did his stick arms again this on the same block because I'm using the same ink for those. And I'm using soft suede. Oh, by the way, it was Memento Tuxedo Black for the snowman and the top hat. And I'm using soft suede for his little stick arms. So let's go ahead and stamp him some stick arms. So I need to stamp those. And again, I've spaced them out so that when I use the die cuts, they will be far enough apart. 
to cut those out and run through the machine all at the same time. Now I want to do his scarf and I'm bringing in Bermuda Bay for his scarf. I'm going to go ahead and stamp that. And then I need his face. So I have found, I have mounted the part for his face um, on one side and then on the other side of the block is this cute little carrot stamp that will fill in his carrot nose. So again, let's bring in the uh, Memento Tuxedo Black and his little face. Because the snowman needs a face. So stamped him. And now I want to do pumpkin pie for his little carrot nose. So it needs to go this direction. And just going to eyeball that. There we go. So now he has a carrot nose. And um, so we have all those pieces there ready to cut out. I want to bring back my dies for a minute because I want to show you something on these little stick arms. These little stick arms, you have two of them. So these, if you just want to cut out the stick arm and don't want to stamp it, those are what these pieces before. And then you have these larger pieces um, to actually cut out the stamped arms. So when you're doing this, there are these little holes and you need to make sure that you see the little pieces coming through. It looks like a little paw, the little pieces coming through here and then coming through this one for the, um, the end of the stick arm. So you want to make sure that that's all showing through. And then you would, um, basically tape that down. Let me see if I can bring this up a little bit closer to the camera and show you what I mean on that. So that helps with um, lining up those arms. So I'm really glad they put those little holes there. Now I've gone ahead to save a little time. I have die cut out a bunch of pieces. Oh yeah, this Bermuda Bay scrap is for the trees the trees here and I um, die cut out two for the outside and then I'll use two on the inside so let's bring out my little pieces I put into a little container it's just a little leftover embellishment container and so we have four trees And I'm going to have to stamp his face again because this one doesn't have a face on it. And his little top hat. And his um, scarf. His two little stick arms. And then three of the little snowflakes in the gold foil. So those are my pieces. I think I'll go ahead and put these little snowflakes back in so that I don't lose them. And I'm going to stamp his face again. It's always good to see something more than one time because then you remember how to do it. So stamping his face. And then pumpkin pie for his carrot nose. I love how that, it just lines up perfectly. I've not had a problem yet lining up that carrot nose. 
So that's a good thing. So let's see. Just going to carry on and get going here. So we have our little snowman. And I think it's time to start putting our snowman together. Oh, this is just not going to hold things down very well. There we have it. Okay. I love my um, mono liquid glue, my multi-purpose liquid glue. So I just need a little dot of glue in each of these little circles. It's so good that they put these little circles here because then you can um, use those to attach to the body. So I just need one on this side and one on the other side. Now, let's see. Oh, his little top hat. I wanted to color in the little ribbon on his top, top hat. So I'm just using my Bermuda Bay Stampin' Right marker, just the regular marker. And I am just doing this, this little ribbon to change it from white to the Bermuda Bay to, la to match the rest of my card. Now we need his little scarf. Again, you don't want a lot of glue. We're just giving him a little scarf, kind of making it match. There we go. And then a little bit on his head so we can put that top hat on. All right, I got to bring out some tweezers. Sandra has taught me how wonderful the use of tweezers can be. So there we have our little snowman all ready to go and our trees and we're going to slide those out of the way because we are going to start building our shaker. Uh, hi Sandra. <laughs> yes, that uh, snowflake frame is wonderful. So I've got my piece. You want to make sure that you slide it in because your flap has to go to the back. So you, you don't want that flap showing um, in your frame. So you want to make sure that this will fold under this way. So now we're going to put this in. And we're going to leave, you know, don't put it in where it's too tight. And we need some of our um, sparkle and shine sequins. I'm going to shake some of those in, trying to keep them on top of the vellum. Whoa, that's a lot. That is a lot of sequins. Maybe I want to take a pinch of that back out. Yeah, let's take a pinch out. I'm going to have a couple on my stamping surface, which will just make that pretty. So now we want to put this in, but we don't want this to be too tight because it won't shake if it's too tight. So we want to leave a little bit, not too much. We want to leave a little bit around. Flip this over. So we've creased that so that we know where to overlap this. So this has a self adhesive flap. I'm just going to put that over matching it. And now we need some good old scotch tape, cellophane tape. I'm going to fold this down this way. Again, we don't want it too tight. 
because we want that to be able to shake. But we do want it kind of close. And then we're going to use some cello tape. You might need another set of hands for this, but if you're careful, you can do it one-handed. Just use all those digits. So now we have our little shaker part. So our little pieces shake around in there and make it all festive and pretty. And now I want to do the foam, I think. So we have this wonderful product called foam adhesive strips. So these are like dimensionals, only they're foam strips. And these can be very handy. Let me get a full strip here. Yes, the faker shakers. And you're going to put this right on the edge. Make sure not to get it off of the edge, but you want it really close to the edge. About as close as you can get it without it coming off of the edge. And then you need some paper snips to snip that. Come on. Cooperate. So I don't often, you've probably noticed my nails, I don't often wear nails, but I did this time because I'm getting ready. Our church does a community Halloween thing and I'm kind of getting ready for that because these nails actually glow in the dark. So that's kind of fun. But my nails are kind of getting in the way this time because I'm not used to it. So, let's see, let's get this, and I forgot to turn, I apologize, I forgot to turn on, do not disturb, I always do that, but I forgot this time, so please forgive me if we've got, you know, if you hear a little ding every once in a while, um, let me see. I need to, yes, um, put another edge around. So, you know what, because it's all contained already, I think I can move this and not have, and have a little space here and there because my pieces are already contained inside my envelope. And let's get a piece. Here's a short piece I had hanging out on my sheet. And another short piece. We're just going to clip that. And use another short piece. And there we have it. We have all of our pieces. So we have foam run here. So we've built a little space for it to like still move. Let's see. I think we need some glue dots. Let's grab some glue dots. Oh, there's a couple of glue dots on the outside of this. How did that happen? So get them right on the corner. Come on. You might need to help it come off. There we go. Here's another one right on the very tip of the corner. Now let's move this down. We've got a couple more. Doing it again right on the tip. Oh, it didn't come off. There it goes. And one last one right on the tip. glue dots don't want to attach to the plastic very quickly. So it doesn't really matter, you know, which side is up, which side is down, but this should fit right here in our little channel. And so now we've got this, oh, that shakes really nicely. Let's hope it shakes just as well. We get it on the card base. 
Now, let's go ahead and attach it to the card base. See, there's our little snowman and trees hanging out there. So, oh, and I want to put a little bit right here. This is some uh, tear and tape. I want to put a strip of that right on the middle there because I just, I just don't want things falling apart too much. Go ahead and lift that up, I hope. There we go. And then we got these. We're going to make our little rabbit ears. Oh, that one is a short piece, so it's fine. Make a little rabbit ear here and a little rabbit ear on this one. And just go all the way around. So now we are going to try to get that all centered. Oh, yep, it's opening the right way. It would be my luck to do it the wrong way where it would open upside down. So hopefully I'm getting that centered because I've got a camera right overhead. So there we go. Now we can take and just pull those strips sure you've seen this trick before. Pull those strips. Did this one not go? I didn't get this one because I had another short piece. There we go. So now that's our shaker part. It's all attached to our card. Get those little bunny strips out of the way. Now it's time to do a little more gluing. We've got our little snowman and our multi-purpose liquid glue. A little, little bit, not too much. Grab this with those tweezers, turn him around and grab him again. So I slipped the snowman underneath this snowflake here and underneath the frame just a tad. Right there. So there we have our little snow snowman and he's going to dry and then we have two of our trees and again our multi-purpose Liquid glue. And we're just going to do really thin. Just kind of put a dot in there and then drag it. We don't really even squeeze anymore. And again, I'm so sorry for the dinging. Hopefully I can get finished with this video without too much more of that. Tweezers, flip it around, put the tweezers on it again, and of course it falls. Because I am not yet tweezer proficient. I think Sondra needs to give a master class. And then we've got the uh, other one is going to go right here. Maybe over just a tad. So those will dry and they will stick. So there we have that part now. I just have a little inside piece. Cut your inside piece just a little bit smaller than your card base. And I have a couple more trees, so I'll get this out of the way for a minute. And again, the multi-purpose liquid glue, just kind of little tiny bit and then kind of drag it. Okay. 
And the same here. Maybe a little down here. And a little down there. Just need little tiny bits of glue. Is all you need. So I'm going to put this one here. Try to make him straight. Wanting him to stand up straight and tall. And I don't know if that, that might be a little crooked, but it will be perfectly fine. It's handmade after all. And then this one, we're just going to put here. And then the part of the trunk that is coming off, we're just going to snip that part. And then I don't know what my greeting is going to be yet. So I am going to um, attach that in later. But one tip, if you have a little ragged edge on your cardstock, take an emery board and file away those rough edges. And that will um, make your cardstock look much nicer if you get a little rough edge here. So I don't know if you guys knew about that tip. And sometimes you got to work at it a little bit more. But um, then that would get adhered right here. And again, I'm not sure what kind of card I'm going to make it. Oh, I forgot. Oh, one of the most parts, those, those beautiful gold um, snowflakes. I can't forget those. So let's go ahead and get these very pretty snowflakes on here. Again, you need just a dot of glue on each one. My finger's just a little sticky. Come on. Come on. Okay. I think this one just wants to get attached. So we're going to put one right here, just kind of offsetting it with this snowflake hair. And we'll go ahead and put this one right here, offsetting this one too. Oop. Come on, you need to stick. There you go. Stick the paper, not my finger. And one last one. Little dot of glue. And this one is going to be offset way over here on this side. All right, now, now it's finished. It's really fun. It's shaking really well. It was um, pretty easy to put together. So I hope you enjoyed my Snowman Magic um, Faker Shaker card. And um, until next time, we'll talk to you later. Bye.